Good morning. This is a bit of a, a raw response. Um, I did not sleep very well last night. I don't get good sleep most nights, but last night was so much worse because the anxiety this trial has caused. Um, I've said all the way through that the state just haven't proven their case with evidence. It's all an emotional reaction that they have provoked. This idea that, he, you know, Murdoch is a liar, that he's done all of these other horrible things, so it must be him. He did it to delay the financial stuff and the, the civil case, maybe get the civil case dropped. None of that ever sat well with me. Um, and I've said this over and over, listening to the raw evidence and leaving my emotions at the door as, as a pretend juror, the state didn't do their job. The defence came in and did a really good job of saying, right, the state are trying to say this and then presented experts that were able to say with authority, with um, a wealth of information and, and knowledge that that couldn't be the case or there were other explanations. Um, and I, f I find it really confusing that the jury went down the route of he's guilty of everything um the legal system is the legal system and alex murdoch may well appeal mm. um but given that he's admitted all of the financial crime um pretty much on the stand um and and balked his uh defense for those um outside of uh what started to come out and was cut off during the the state's cross-examination of uh one of the law partners um which was everyone kind of had loans from the business everyone was doing it but what alex murdoch did was worse um now this is not condoning his behavior i think it's a scummy scummy thing to do um, and he should be punished for those things. I just don't think the state proved beyond a reasonable doubt that uh, Alex Murdoch committed the murders. He planned, committed and destroyed, got rid of, hid all of the evidence in the time frame that they, they were saying. Um, especially given the incredibly non-scientific way of determining time of death, which was the phones stopped being used at 8.49 uh, and a guy shoved his his um, hand in the armpits of the deceased, um, which how how is how is that accurate in any way? Um, and even with liver temperature and all of the other things that they can do, you've got a window of time. And that window of time is 8.49 until 10 o'clock. Um, and anything could have happened. Going by statistics, two guns usually means two shooters. The idea that someone would bring two long guns, especially one that has the capacity for a 10, 20, 30 round magazine doesn't make sense Husker. no um you know the, to me there are too many questions to find him guilty but that's what happened yesterday he was found guilty and i think it was an emotional response given how quickly they came back with a verdict three hours is nothing a little under three hours is nothing. They've got to go into the jewellery room, vote in a four person. They've got to take a vote, discuss, weigh things up and then fill in the paperwork. Three hours is not a lot of time to sum up a, a six week um, trial. It's not a lot of time to weigh up all of those facts and figures and everything we've been blindsided by from especially from this the the state there is no clear motive there is no physical evidence so to come back with that verdict in three hours seems squiffy to me and i think it was an emotional response that this guy is a scumbag he's an addict he's a liar and 
he committed these financial financial frauds. He's admitted all of this stuff on the stand. So he must be a scam scumbag. And I've said it before, not all fraudsters are murderers and not all murderers are fraudsters. Um, and I, I find it difficult to make that leap. And maybe that's me. Um, I don't know what you think about it. You give me your thoughts. Do you think the jury got it right? Or do you think, like me, this, this was a knee-jerk response? Um, according to the experts in the field, the lawyers that I follow, he's got grounds for appeal on um, some of the, the legal rulings uh, over prejudicial evidence and what was allowed and what wasn't. Um, and I, I really do think he should do that. Um, SLED did not do a good enough job. They left behind um, uh, parts of Paul. They released the crime scene in under 12 hours. They never searched for the clothes that, that Alex Murdoch was in, um, in the Snapchat video. The, they lied to a grand jury about what evidence they had. They said they had a blood spattered shirt and they didn't. Um, you know, all of these things. If they told the truth in the grand jury, would the indictments have come down? You know, um, it, he may well be guilty, but SLED did a piss poor job of proving that. And they, they manipulated, to me, manipulated the jury into thinking that Alex Murdoch's lies were out of um, malice. Now, I don't know anyone who has never told a lie in their entire life. And people lie for all sorts of reasons when they're innocent or guilty. They lie about things that don't matter all of the time. And then once you've lied, you're kind of stuck with that lie or you make yourself look suspicious. And bearing in mind, this is a guy that at the time was addicted and had a pocket full of pills. If he admits that he was down at the kennels, is he going to get searched and arrested there and then? Is his drug habit going to be found out? And is he going to be forced to detox in a police cell overnight? It's not out of the realm of possibility. Also, if you're innocent, you don't want them to focus in on you, especially when you've seen them railroad someone else in the last few years. I get it. I get why he lied. I really do. Um, I would understand if he had forgotten, misremembered, lost track of the timeline. His responses in the courtroom, one that, that really struck me, was when their expert was testifying about the order of the shots and how the shots were fired. Um, when they were discussing what position Maggie and Paul were in when the, the shots were fired, um, the fact that Maggie was facing the shooter. Murdoch was struggling to hold that together because no one wants to think their loved one knew it was coming, that they were um, facing this idea, this possibility that they were going to lose their life. Maybe she was pleading for her life. Um, I certainly wouldn't want to think of any of my loved ones going through that, no matter how brief. It could have been 30 seconds. That is still 30 seconds too long. That feels like an eternity um so you know to me maybe i'm biased because i have ptsd and uh some of his reactions are the reactions that i have in flashback moments in reality um setting in moments um the fact that he'd break down and pull it together um i i see myself in that so maybe I'm too close to it. Um, but to me, those reactions are trigger point reactions. Um, so, you know, I find it hard to believe. Um, I am hoping that he does appeal and more information comes out in that appeal. 
um, either evidence that was not allowed in in the trial or um, uh, kind of freedom of information requests or you know more information about the grand jury and what lies were told in that um i would be very interested in that um alex murdoch is going to go through a period of shock and then grief and uh, we will see how he deals with that legally um what happens from here in terms of appeals uh, but honestly, you know, it, it is not sitting well with me. Um, and some of that is the incredibly short period of time that it took to come to that verdict. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, I will put a link to my true crime playlist if you want some of my thoughts about the state uh, i am sorry about the dog barking i apologize about that he's trying to mug me for treats because i am busy um whoever you are and wherever you're watching from thank you so much for being here i really do appreciate you um if you are able to if you like my content watch some of my other videos and su consider c subscribing if uh, you enjoy my take on things, um, I will be doing a, another behind the scenes uh, video over the weekend. So look out for that. Uh, and I will also be talking about Buster and where he goes from here over the next couple of days. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate you.